सो हाई गाइज वेलकम टॉकिंग टैग दिस इज रोहित एंड टुडे इज डे फिफ्टीन ऑफ शेयरिंग द जॉब अपडेट एंड टुडे वी हैव अ जॉब दैट इज़ फॉर फ्रेशर्स एंड दैट इज़ फॉर द ग्रेजुएट दैट इज़ फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री बैच और द स्टूडेंट्स दैट विल बी ग्रेजुएटिंग इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री सो दिस इज़ अ इंटरेस्टिंग सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग जॉब बाई सेल्स फोर एंड वी विल डिस्कस वट इज़ द जॉब रिक्वायरमेंट हाउ मच सैलरी इज एक्सपेक्टेड फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर रोल and job requirement what are the criteria requirement criteria and then how to apply for this particular job so uh, before starting with this particular opportunity i want to clear that uh, those people who are facing difficulty in registering uh, of mind tree edge program video uh, then i have mentioned a link in the first comment i have pinned that link that is for mind tree contact uh, you can contact mind tree directly and if you if you are facing any issues regarding your microsoft account and all then you can directly contact them and raise the issue okay now let's get started with this particular job okay so this job is uh, associate member of technical staff normally it's a software engineer role the location is hyderabad and bangalore and first before starting with the job description let's say i say let's talk about salesforce so salesforce is basically a cloud software based company that basically make product cloud products and to help the businesses and uh, uh, you may have used heroku platform that is one of the salesforce company so uh, salesforce product so yes so, uh, let's get started with this so the job detail is 2023 full time employee software engineer location is hyderabad bangalore okay this is your time to sign and some things and all so required skills are academic or professional internship experience with java c++ python understanding of object oriented programming design working knowledge of web technologies strong analytical and problem solving skills be a self starter and possesses a strong sense of self motivation so this is the technical skills requirement uh, it is a required skill okay uh, it sh you should have at least uh, these skills like you should have some experience with uh, java c++ or python uh and you should have good understanding or you should have good problem solving skills or uh, if you have like uh, understand like how web basically work or web development experience do you, if you have or any project you have then it is good and uh, uh, what are the desired skills like course work in sql and related database concepts strong competency in java language javascript and related frameworks strong skills in data structures oops and concept algorithm so yes these are the de desired skills and the required skills are basic skills like uh, this is basically uh, one thing that normally the freshers that are in fine that are uh, in final year right now uh, that do like they are waiting for like this semester end to apply for this jobs but what i suggested is like uh, if you are getting an opportunity right now then grab it and apply for the jobs even if you are not prepared just apply for it and uh, let's say Uh, you will get an experience like if you are rejected in resume shortlisting then you will get experience like your resume is not up to the mark if you are rejected in any interview round then you know like how you how uh, what how much fundamentals do you have clear do you have do your fundamentals are clear uh, about any uh, data structures and also uh, i suggest like apply for the roles that you are getting right now apply for the opportunities that are getting do not miss them and also uh, side by side prepare your resume make uh, your resume strong prepare your projects work on your projects and uh, make uh, work on your skills also so yes this is a uh, this is the required skills and desired skill let's say the technical skills now come to the eligibility criteria be btech graduates in 20 graduating in 2023 in computer science electrical electronics or equivalent discipline with specialization in computer science so here they have clearly mentioned like if you are graduating in 2023 and you are from computer science or electrical department or electronics engineering department then you can apply for this particular role but there is one more condition like you should have 7 cgpa and above with no backlogs so yes they have mentioned a cgpa criteria like you should have 7 cgpa and you should not have any you should have uh, no backlog there there should be no backlog uh, here you should not have any backlog okay this is all about the job description and the eligibility okay now let's see how you can apply for this particular role i will share the link in the first comment you can get that link from here so after clicking on apply button you will get an option to autofill with your resume apply manually or use your last application so better with if you have a resume then you can autofill with your resume uh, you will be landed on my workday jobs platform by salesforce uh, okay it is taking some time 
Yeah, they are asking for you to create your account. I think I have already an account. I'm not sure if it is working. Okay, I don't think I have an account. Let's select with resume. I think it will be easier. Okay, so if you have any doubts regarding this particular, it is asking me to create my account, I guess. Let's create an account. Why it is like this? Okay. So yes, the sections are basically your resume, your information, your experiences, some application questions, some voluntary disclosures, and at last the review. It is like a similar uh, in every in every application you will get these sections. So let's see if I have any resume. बहुत सारे हैं यार. Let's select this one. Okay. Continue. So resume is really important part. I I say in every video like uh, you should have your resume ready and it should have you should have uh, you should have worked uh, in your resume before applying for any particular job based upon the job description. So yes, let's go to the field. This is the basic information. How did you hear about us? It may be you can uh, fill the any option. Maybe uh, referral, current or formal employee, external career site source. And have you previously worked with Salesforce or any any of its uh, subsidiaries and all? You can opt accordingly. Your name, your family, your family name, like let's say your last name, your address, your email number, your phone number, your email ID. These are the basic details. You can move to the next section. Oh, oh. This website is somehow slow. Okay. Oh, ठीक है. हम्म हम्म. Okay. Now it is uh, the experience section is here. So if you have any internship experience, then you can mention. Or uh, I mean, since you are fresher, you should uh, you don't have any job experience. So it is an optional field here. So but if you have any internship experience, or uh, then you can surely mention here. But if you don't have any experience, then it is not mandatory at all. So don't worry about that. At last, you have uh, education section here. It is a required one. So if you are uh, whatever university you are currently or whatever college uh, you are currently in, then you can mention that. And uh, you don't have to mention your high school or uh, your your high school details. Basically, uh, you can just go with your uh, current college details. Now the skills and strength. It is an optional field, but I suggest you should have you should fill these details. Okay, whatever skills you have, whatever skills that are required or that are mentioned in the job description, you should fill these details and thus move uh, move uh, move. Okay, let's delete it. Website is really slow. Okay, at last we have some application questions. What is your preferred geographic location? They have given two options like Bangalore and uh, Hyderabad. You can mention anyone. 
okay do you have an unrestricted right to work in this yes please yes will you feature required sponsorship to obtain work authorization if you are from india you don't need to fill this uh, okay are you a citizen of uh, residents of any of the following countries uh, these are basically countries like north america north korea and all so you can fill these details okay and let's save and continue uh, at last you have voluntary disclosures these are like uh, your may be related to your gender and all so yes at last you have terms and condition just select it and save and continue okay finally you can review your application whatever you have mentioned whatever you have filled uh, whatever details you have filled then you can review and then you can submit the application so this is all about this particular job uh, and if you have any doubts related to this if you are stuck anywhere then do man do ask your questions in the comment i will be happy to answer them and if you are new to the channel do subscribe to talking tech and uh, press the bell icon so you will get the notification of every video that i i will be posting i will be posting now if you have any doubts currently then you can ask in the chat please share link in description sure i will be sharing the link in description after this live stream just give me 5 minutes and uh, okay so thanks for joining uh, today guys i will be i will see you tomorrow i guess tomorrow is friday i will see you tomorrow and thank you for joining today and uh, have a great day